So back to the science of fat loss and really what it boils down to when we're trying to get to the science of fat loss is we want to maximize the amount of fat that your body burns and you want to minimize the amount of muscle it loses. You want to maintain as much muscle, gain muscle if potentially possible, while losing the maximum amount of fat. And really, how do you do that? That's the main question. And there's, I guess, five components that would be very important to focus on. And these are actually in order of importance. And the first one, you might be surprised because you might not have ever heard this one before. So I, I definitely want to make a punctuation on this one. Uh, in order for you to maximize your fat loss and minimize your muscle loss, you got to be in a calorie deficit. I know, groundbreaking stuff here. You need to eat less than you burn. Calorie deficit, a negative energy balance. More is leaving your body, using energy, than is coming back into the system than you're eating. And then the second most important component is what's considered progressive resistance training. And specifically, I'm talking, I'm, I'm saying the word progressive because just the fact that you do resistance training may not be enough. You need to progress that resistance training in some fashion, whether it's more volume, more weight, more reps, etc., etc. And, and for that reason, you might need to actually track your workouts, track the sets and reps, the exercises. So progressively making the progress in your resistance training efforts. Third on the list, you need to double check that the calorie deficit is appropriate. And how do you double check that? Is that you're not losing more than 0.5 to 1.5% uh, body fat a week. You might think it's a good thing to lose more, but the point is you're, you might burn too quickly and you might burn out. Your body might sort of catch on if, if you want to call it that. And, and you will come up to some sort of a plateau. So you kind of want to sneak it there, and which means it might sometimes take longer than you anticipate. But if you do this, you kind of fly under the radar and allow your body to maximize the amount of fat it loses and minimize the amount of, of muscle it loses. So if you're, if you're doing quickly, if you're going 0.5 to 1.5% per, uh, a week of loss, you're probably in a safe zone. Number four, Another probably groundbreaking point, you need to be having sufficient protein. And I'm going to give you a new number, one you probably have never heard about before, and I'm being serious now. It's about one gram per centimeter of your height. So let's say you're 167 centimeters tall. You should aim for 167 grams of protein per day. Sometimes we talked about one gram per pound of your body weight, your body weight goal. Sometimes we talk about, you know, do a, ma a calculation based on your lean body mass. But really, this is much more simple and it seems to work really well in some of the studies. One gram per centimeter of your height. Next, and the final point on, of the five important points in terms of maximizing muscle maintenance, maximizing fat loss, is appropriate cardio. And I've added a word in there again, appropriate cardio. And that is both amount and type. You want to make sure that it's more lower intensity and it's after your resistance training. So if you're breaking up your workout, you want to make sure the first part of resistance training that you're putting the most effort and energy into that, you're progressing it. Um, and then after you're done, you can get into doing some lower intensity cardio after resistance training. And a good rule of thumb is like less than half the amount of time that you're spending doing resistance training should be should be in the cardio. So if, if your resistance training program takes about 45 minutes, you wanna be make sure you're less than 25 minutes, 20, 25 minutes of cardio low intensity. So those are the five key points in order of importance, calorie deficit, progressive resistance training, appropriate deficit size by how much you're losing, sufficient protein number four, and appropriate cardio number five of the points of importance when you want to maximize fat loss and minimize muscle loss.